Hi, I'm Helen Trencher. Maribel Chacon? Yes. I passed the Homeland Security screening, the education requirements, filled out the TN request forms, submitted copies of my passport, obtained the letters of employment, and submitted a two-by-two -two picture of myself. It, it says here you are attending Universidad Autonoma. Yes. I have almost finished their business administration program and should be certified by the end of the month. I have a job offer to work at St. Mary's Medical Center in El Paso, Texas. Which department? Collections. Your son? Yes. His father? He moved to America before Gabriel was born. Why didn't you go with him? He snuck across the border. Oh. I was pregnant. He didn't know. I, I decided to stay. Why? I want to be an American citizen not an illegal immigrant. I want to do it right. He doesn't know about his son? So how long have you been trying to immigrate to America? Almost seven years. Seven years, that's a long time. Yes, it is. How many times has your application been rejected? Four. Five, if you include the year I tried to enter the green card lottery only to find out it's close to Mexico. Seven years. Five rejections. But in the seven years, you've worked hard, gained an education, and learned to speak English fluently. So why leave Mexico? Excuse me. Uh, you seem to be doing pretty well here. Why leave? Pretty well. Pretty well here consists of me sharing a tiny two-room house with my mother and my son. A house so small, I can't turn around without bumping something or knocking something over. My son has to sleep in the same room with me because there's not enough room in the front for another bed. At night, I have to walk home from work with a wad of cash in my pocket because I'm paid in tips, worried the whole way that I'm going to be mugged again because there aren't enough cops to keep the criminals off the street. And once I get home, I have to pay the rent for my tiny house and buy groceries for my family. And every dollar that's left over goes to the college so I can buy a little piece of paper that says I know how to properly operate a telephone. A piece of paper that does me no good here because there are no jobs. Mm. Basically, I want a better life for my son, for myself, and I know that better life is waiting for me in America. Well, good news then. Your file is almost completely in order and you should be eligible soon. I just need the updated medical examination form from your doctor and you should be ready to go. Thank you. I'll get them to you right away. You know, the irony is, if you had gone to America with Gabriel's father, Gabriel would have been born in America, and you'd all probably be citizens by now. Like I said, I want to do it right. Good to hear. 